In this video, we're going to show you how to replace a passenger side CV axle on your Toyota Camry. Let's get started. Using a 21 millimeter socket, remove the five lug nuts. Remove the wheel. Using a 30 millimeter socket, we're going to remove the axle nut. I'm going to thread one lug nut on just to hold the rotor in place. We're going to drop the knuckle forward so it'll want to wiggle. We'll just keep it in place with the lug nut. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolt out of the ABS wire bracket. Pull the bracket off. Using a 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolt out of the brake line and ABS wire bracket. Pull the lines out of the strut. This is going to give us enough room and so that no tension will be put on our hoses or wires. Using a 22 millimeter wrench, we're going to hold the head of the bolt while we use a 22 millimeter socket to remove the nut. Do the same thing on the bottom one. the bolts. Pull the plastic clip off for the ABS wire. Pull the knuckle out of the strut. Push the axle up as you do this. Pull the axle out of the knuckle. I'm going to use a hook and go to the strut or a solid place. And we're doing this so that we don't put any pressure on this brake line. Just like that. Using a pair of pliers, remove the snap ring for the intermediate bearing. Remove the snap ring. Make sure that it'll float around. We're going to remove the CV axle. Before you do this, be sure there's a drain bucket under this hole right here. It may leak fluid. We're going to use a big pry bar and get under the cup of the CV axle right here. And we're going to give it a few shocks with a hammer. Using a 14 millimeter socket, remove the bolt on the bottom of the bearing bracket. The passenger side axle gets stuck in this bracket pretty often. We've tried pretty hard to get it out and we're not able to. So we're going to be removing this whole bracket that it's sitting in and removing it once it's off the car. To remove this bracket, use a 14 millimeter socket and remove the three bolts.
Remove the bolts. Using a flat blade screwdriver, we're gonna pry on this top bracket and be sure that it's not sitting in the two locator pins located on the block. Once you have it off of there, we're gonna go ahead and push the axle out of the transmission. Using a pry bar and a hammer, we're gonna knock the axle out. Be ready for fluid to drip out. Remove the axle and bracket assembly. After a few hours of trying, we were unable to remove this bracket from the bearing or the bearing from the bracket. This is a very common issue. They get rust welded inside and you are gonna end up fighting it for way too long. We recommend getting a new bracket when changing the axle. It really is just the best way to do the job. Install the bracket onto the car. Get your bolts started. Snug the bolts down. Torque these bracket bolts to 24 foot-pounds. Using a bit of grease, we're gonna go around the inside of this bracket and totally cover it. We're gonna to try to avoid having this new one rust weld in, and hopefully it'll come out easier next time. Install the axle. Line the splines up and install it into the transaxle. We're going to install the snap ring. You have to push this over the axle. Get it loosely on there. We're going to snug down this set screw and then torque it to 24 foot-pounds. Remove the axle nut off of the new axle. Install the axle into the hub. Get it lined up and then push the knuckle and hub up. Remove your hook or hanging device that you're using to hold the knuckle. Line the knuckle up with the strut and get the bolt started. I like to start with the bottom bolt. Makes the top bolt easy. Just grab the top of the rotor, push up, push it through.
get the nuts started. Snug the nuts down. Holding the head of the bolt, we're going to torque these down to 155 foot-pounds. Do the same thing on the bottom one. Install the ABS wire clip onto the strut. Install the ABS wire bracket onto the strut bracket and put the brake line over it. Get the bolt started. Snug the bolt down. Install the ABS wire bracket. Get the bolt started and snug it down. Install the axle nut. Snug down the axle nut. Using a pry bar to hold the studs, we're going to torque the axle nut to 217 foot-pounds. Using a punch and a hammer, we're going to stake the axle nut. Using some parts cleaner and a clean rag, I'm going to clean any of the extra anti-seize that I wiped onto the rotor. Remove the lug nut, install the wheel onto the vehicle, go around and get the lug nut started. Go around and snug them all down in a cross pattern. Torque the lug nuts to 76 foot-pounds in a star pattern. Once you're done with this job, take your car to a local shop and have them do an alignment. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.